Hello. After like six weeks out on the road, I am back from tour. Just for a little bit. <laughs> it's until, basically until next week, and then I go out again. Tickets are available still for a lot of places. I just woke up, so sorry if my voice sounds weird. I just woke up. I just wanted to make this video though to talk a little bit about tour and about my experience and about how amazing it was. The show was something that I worked extremely hard on and it's something that I, I wrote over over the pandemic over the last like year, year and a half ish is how long I've been working on it. About a year, I guess, a little over a year. And it's something that was really personal to me and it was something that was, I guess, very vulnerable. Um, most of the show is about sort of like my relationship with you guys with my audience and like what it's like being a a creator um but i i put a lot of myself into it and i and i was pretty vulnerable in it and it was something that was that really meant a lot to me at the end and it was something that i was i was really proud of um and it was something that i was really afraid of honestly not only like was the process scary because it was something really new something that i hadn't done before but it was something that I was really afraid to show people because I wasn't sure how people would react to it. And the response from the first leg was so amazing and it was so overwhelming. Um, and it was, it was honestly way crazier than I thought it was going to be. Um, like seeing the amount of people that came out to the shows and seeing the reaction that people had to the show um, was really, really amazing. Um, again, like all of my videos, this isn't scripted at all, so I'm just speaking out of my brain. Um, but I, I just want to take a sec to, like, genuinely thank everybody that came to the show and came and supported this thing and, and saw what I made. Um, it was, it was really amazing being able to finally share this thing with people because I had kept it a secret for such a long time, like, not only... Um, like not telling you guys what the show was about, but telling nobody was it, what it was about. Like Mika didn't even know anything about the show until she saw it a couple days before the first show in Chicago back in November. Um, so unless you were a part of the creation of the show and the development of it, nobody knew anything about it. Um, and that's something that meant a lot to me. And like, I definitely want to thank like all of my family and all my friends and especially Mika for being so supportive of, supportive of that, because I feel like I live my whole entire life online. So there's not really much that I can keep a secret. And this was something that I, I didn't, I didn't want to share it with anybody until I was ready to to share it because I feel like I'm constantly just like trying to put stuff out and showing people things and blah 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 blah, blah. Um, which is great but it, it's nice to just have a chance to like show people a thing that I'm making when I'm ready to show it so I do want to take a sec to to thank all my friends and my family and specifically Mika for being so supportive of that and not trying to be like well let me have a little scoop like everybody was so cool about letting me keep it a little secret until I was ready to share it. I don't I don't even know how to like properly say how I felt about tour. It was such an amazing experience and like something that was so so special and like I went on tour back in 2017 2018 for your welcome with everybody and that was super super fun and that was an amazing experience. But this felt a little bit more special for me just because this was wholly my show and something that I made um and so having having that happen and seeing the the theaters and the venues fill up like selfishly all for me was really weird and it was really crazy because I, I feel like I'm not used to that kind of thing because I do a lot of stuff with other people especially like in live settings I've basically only done things with other people so it was crazy um it was crazy seeing stuff fill up and seeing so many people come out to the shows for me. And that was, that was really special. And it really put things every time something like this happens, whether it was like going on tour in 2017, 2018, or just like doing a panel at a convention, it always puts stuff in, into perspective because 
like you see this room full of people and you're like wow that's a lot of people that's crazy and then i think about it and i'm like okay this is a room of a thousand people or whatever and i have two million subs at this point which is insane to think about i don't know it just really put a lot into perspective and it was really cool especially after the few years that we've had like seeing all of you guys there and i wasn't able to do any like meet and greets or signings or anything like that one just because of time but two we had to try and stay as safe as we could with covid um and so uh i didn't like get to be face to face with anybody all that much um and like up close uh it was mostly just like me seeing people during the vip q a or during the actual show like looking into the crowd um but being able to actually see people in front of me that are a part of this community was really fucking cool really 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 cool but yeah i i like i i still like don't even feel like it was real <laughs> like a part of it like just seeing everybody show up and seeing the reaction and like people being so supportive and so kind like the the whole crew which i'll talk about the crew in a minute but everybody was constantly saying like how nice you guys were and how compliant you guys were where like you guys would come in and they'd be like okay you guys line up in this way and you guys were always just like okay yes <laughs> we'll do it um and so the the crew just didn't have like they had endless nice things to say about you guys so i really appreciate you guys being so awesome to everybody working at the show um you guys were really 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 great so i was i was super pleased to hear all that um and then on top of that going back to the crew I felt so lucky. I felt so, so lucky to have the crew that I had on this tour. Like, everybody was, one, kicking ass at their jobs, but two, kicking ass at multiple jobs, because we didn't have a huge, huge crew or anything. It was, in total, there were nine of us. Most of the tour was only eight of us, um, but there were about nine of us for the tour, um, which is a fair amount of people, but there, everybody was wearing multiple hats, um, and everyone did such a fucking amazing job, and it was so, it was so nice because I feel like normally with YouTube and everything, um, I, most of the time, except this has changed a lot now because now, like, there's multiple editors for the channel, and I got an assistant, Jocelyn, recently, who's been super, super helpful, but for the majority of my my time on YouTube, like, I've done everything mostly myself, um, and so it was amazing to be able to, like, delegate stuff and to know that, like, okay, like, these people are taking care of this thing, I don't have to take care of that, like, I'll, all I had to do on tour was focus on doing the show and doing the show as best as I could, and being able to just have to focus on that was so amazing, and so, like, I really want, I don't know if any of the crew is watching, but I just want to genuinely thank all of them so much because it was, not only were they just fucking cool people and, like, really fun to hang out with and super kind and funny, and everyone was super weird, super, super weird, which I love. I loved that so much. Um, but it, it, was, it was amazing just being able to focus on the show, and the show would not have happened at all without any of them whether it was um the people who helped me out from real good touring at the beginning in the like pre-production stage or whether it was the crew actually on tour like none of this would have been possible at all so i just want to say to the crew and everybody who helped in the creation of the show i love you guys so much thank you so much for making this happen because it would not have happened without you at all. But tour tour was really really amazing, um, and it's it's still going. <laughs> we we do the second leg starting at the end of next week. Is that when it started? Basically, yeah. Um, oh wow! I don't know. I just I just had a really fun time. There's so much footage that we got, um, and so um, there will be stuff coming out about the show. There's not going to be like just the show. Uh, I, like we did film multiple shows, but we're not gonna release it release it as as a thing on its own. I don't think, um, because I really made this to be more of like you're there and you're experiencing it live, which is why like I pushed the tour so hard because one, it's something that I worked really hard on, but two, like it, it's not really a thing that I made 
um, to be experienced like on YouTube or anything like that. It was more something that I wanted you guys to see in real life. And maybe there will be something that comes out digitally. But for the most part, it was made to experience live. Um, and with that being said, I do want to say a huge, huge thank you to everybody who came to the shows and respected my my wishes of nobody filming. I didn't see hardly anybody film anything um, at the top of every show. I was like, hey, can you please put your phones away? Blah, 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 blah. And almost everybody complied with that fully, um, which was amazing. Like, I haven't really seen any footage of any shows um, which has been which has been really really great. So I really appreciate that one on a not spoiling it for other people in the community who haven't seen the show yet. But two, just like a like I was just saying, this isn't something that I wanted to be filmed. This is something that I wanted everybody who's in the audience to be present for. Um, so I I really really appreciate everybody being chill with that and being so awesome about it. B, I don't know if you can hear her. She's running around in the background. Hello, I had to step away for a few minutes. Cannot remember at all what I was talking about before this. <laughs> but yeah, this video doesn't need to be super long. I just wanted to say how much I appreciate everything that you guys have done. Um, not only for the tour, but like everything ever. Like I would never be able to do this kind of thing if it weren't for you guys. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm really excited about how the shows have been going, and I'm really excited for, for the future. I don't know what I'm going to be doing next. That was, like, one of the most popular questions that I would get that I would get asked during the Q&A would be, what am I going to be doing next? Like, what am I excited about next? And my answer for all of those was, I don't know. Because for everything that I've ever done, like, any bigger project... In the middle of it, I'm always kind of thinking like, okay, but what comes after this? Like, there always has to be a next thing. Um, and for the first time, maybe ever, if not just a really long time, I'm not letting myself think about that right now. I just want to kind of live in what's happening right now. I, I just kind of want to live in the tour and appreciate tour while it's going on because it's not going to last forever. Um, and so I don't know what I'm going to do next. Um, I hope that it's more stuff like this because I've enjoyed it so much, but I, I don't really care right now. Like, what I want to be focusing on is the tour and what's happening right now and giving you guys the best shows that I can and just allowing myself to, like, live in the moment for a little bit and appreciate what's actually going on right now instead of worrying about what's coming next. Um, but anyway, I'm going to stop rambling for now. Just thank you guys so much. Um, if you came to a show... Thank you so much for being there. Thank you for being a part of this and making this so incredible. Um, and for those of you who haven't come to shows, uh, again, I am leaving in about a week to go on the second leg, which is going to be basically the West Coast and Texas and a little bit of other places. Uh, you can go to I have to do this dot show and get tickets. I'm really excited. Thank you guys so much for for being there and uh, supporting this thing that I'm doing. I've had so much fun, and I feel so lucky. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you on tour again in like a week. <laughs>